Hi, so my name is Jeremy Cook. I brought my JC Pro Macro 2 to the Maker Fair. It's a macro keypad. I brought my JC Pro Macro 2 to the Maker Fair. It's a macro keypad with some interesting features, including GPIO that are broken out. So basically, you can use these GPIO for anything, like you can control lights, you can control a fan, like a little fan. Um, yeah, or anything you want. So it's also got a rotary knob, which is awesome. And it's based on the Pro Micro board. So, you know, and in theory, it's swappable. So anything that's that format should also work. So I, I hear Adafruit's working on something in that format. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Not tested yet, but let's keep our fingers crossed, I guess. So first of all, a macro pad is something that when you hit a key, it does something else. So, you know, it, this basically acts like a, a keyboard but you can assign the keys to anything you want. So this could be a B, this could be an A, or this could be say, hi Caleb, how you doing? It could type all that in if you wanted to. Um, the uh, rotary encoder, same thing, like the way it's set up, you can have it so that it will do the same thing. So you might have it, so it says B, 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 C, 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 or control, whatever you want. Basically, you can program this, if you know how to program Arduino, you can program this to the point where just anything you want, really. So if you had a video game you like to play, you could hit one key and it would buy all your weapons at once. You know, just stuff like that. If somebody were to buy this, at this point I've got, you know, right now it's on Kickstarter, but once it gets done, what I'm thinking, what, what I'll do is have it, so you can buy it with this, with the LEDs assembled, basically all the surface mount parts assembled. You can buy it as a solder kit or fully assembled and programmed by me. Again, that's a little bit subject to change because it's not for sale quite yet, but when it does, I'm, I'm looking forward to selling it in probably three different formats. Before the JC Pro Macro 2, which you see has eight keys and you have some LEDs and stuff, I came up with a JC Pro Macro 1, which has five keys, well, plus, plus an encoder key. Um, you know, people made different suggestions about it, what, what I should do, and I was like, well, I should just make a, a second version. And I wouldn't say that was a trouble, but definitely maybe trying to take people's suggestions or maybe saying, okay, I don't need to do that. That's a good, good idea, just figuring out what to do. Um, you know, as you can see here, I went through several iterations of the board itself. I don't know, I don't know which of these are, which is which, but definitely a lot of um, iteration in the design. And I guess the way that I've initially been premiering this on Kickstarter, it gives you kind of a start gate to say, okay, I can, I can design this, I can make a little revision, little revision, little revision, and you're not releasing it at all, so you're not burdening yourself or others with trying to support 10 different products, if that makes, you know, so I, I think it's a great way to go with this. My name is Jeremy Cook. Uh, if you look up Jeremy S. Cook, you'll be almost certain to find me. Um, most likely I'll be selling it on Tindy. I have a Tindy store right now, so if you look up Jeremy Cook Consulting LLC, Tindy, I think you'll definitely be pointed to my store. So why did you decide to make a macro pad? A macro pad something that I've always found pretty fascinating. I, th I think the first one that I made was just a, a simple uh, volume control knob based on the Adafruit trinket. Um, it just had like one or two buttons. That, that evolved over time to something that could do a few more things. And once I learned how to do PCB design, it just made sense to make something that I could sell to others. 